Okay, for those of you who are taking, listening and speaking today, November 25th, 2020, unfortunately, the recording didn't turn out. So I want to give just a very quick summary over what, uh, covering what we discussed today uh, so that you can kind of have a reference of uh, some of the main points. So we started off by looking at a grammar question, actually. We looked at a sentence that related to what we were going to do today, and we talked uh, for about 30 minutes or so, maybe closer to 40 minutes, analyzing this sentence uh, grammatically uh, speaking. So we looked at the example. Today we continue with this week's activity, completing a reflective set of questions related to ICTs and behaviors exercised this semester. Improbe. So we all contributed to our notes in uh, a Word document. It was a shared Word online document in Microsoft Teams that all of you should be able to access. And um, you have uh, you included your notes under your name, taking a look at each of the words of this sentence and identifying the parts of speech. So the, we decided that this sentence was a simple sentence because it had one clause. Remember, a clause has a subject and a verb. It has one main clause. So by definition, we're looking at an example of a simple sentence. So we have the subject we, personal pronoun. We have the verb continue in the simple present. We identified with this week's activity as a prepositional phrase, with being a preposition, this being a demonstrative adjective, weeks being a possessive noun, and activity being a noun functioning as the object of the preposition. Remember that a prepositional phrase has two things, begins with a preposition, and it has an object, a noun or a pronoun, that is, that is going to be identified as being the object of the preposition. Remember that nouns and pronouns can function as not only objects of the preposition, but direct objects and indirect objects. We identify today as being an adverb, modifying the verb continue. It answers the question, when? When did we continue? Today. Here we have three phrases. Now we have completing a reflective set of questions as one phrase we have related to ICTs and behaviors as a second phrase, and we have exercised the semester in prope as a third phrase. These are three uh, phrases. Um, actually, let's take a look at the first one, competing, uh, completing a reflective set of questions. So completing here is going to be a gerund. Remember, gerund is a verb in the ing that's functioning as a noun. We have here a reflective set of questions, A being the indefinite article. We have reflective being an adjective, set is a noun, of questions is a prepositional phrase, of being the preposition, questions being the noun or the object of the preposition. And we can label this completing a reflective set of questions as a gerund phrase, a gerund Phrase. A gerund phrase beginning with a gerund, we have a an object set. It's functioning as the object of the gerund, right? And we could label all of this as a gerund phrase. Related to ICTs and behaviors, so we have this, we're going to identify this as a participial phrase. So related is in the past participle, but it's actually functioning as a as an adjective. That's what uh, uh, Participial phrases do, they function as adjectives, in this case, modifying the noun questions. Okay? You could ask which questions, the questions that are related to ICTs and behaviors. It answers the question, which. Adjectives answer the question, which one, right? Which questions related to the ICTs and behaviors. So we have two ICTs and behaviors as a prepositional phrase, two being the preposition, ICTs being a noun functioning as an object of the preposition, behaviors as another object. So we actually have two objects here. Uh, we have two nouns and two objects that are related to the, pre the uh, preposition to. And we have and, a coordinating conjunction. We talked about today being careful not to simply identify the type of sentence, whether or not it has a coordinating conjunction, because coordinating conjunctions can not only connect 
uh, clauses, but they can also connect phrases and individual words. So in this case, the coordinating conjunction and is connecting the two words, the two nouns in this case, ICTs and behaviors, not to uh, two clauses. That's why this sentence is considered a simple sentence, even though it has a coordinating conjunction. Then we have exercise this semester in prope as our third phrase. This is a uh, relic. This is a participial phrase. Again, exercised is a participial a participle. It's actually in the past participle form. And uh, this exercise this semester is um, a participial phrase. It's functioning as an adjective, that whole phrase, modifying behaviors and ICTs. Which ICTs? The ICTs exercised this semester in prope. Which behaviors? The behaviors exercised this semester in prope. So this participial phrase, again, an adjective phrase um, modifying the nouns, behaviors, and ICTs. We have this, again, as another demonstrative adjective. Adjectives are modifying nouns. In this case, semester is a noun, so this is modifying semester. In prope, prepositional phrase. In being a preposition, prope being a noun, also functioning as the object of the preposition, in. All right, so we talked about this. Make sure that you've uploaded or updated, I should say, your notes underneath your name in this document, just so you have this as a point of reference. Of course, reach out to your grammar teacher if you have specific questions about this example. Um, or, of, or, of course, reach out to me if you have uh, questions or if you need further clarification about what we talked about uh, today. All right, so here, uh, this is a... This is our example that we worked on today in class, the first part of the class. The second part of the class was working in Microsoft Teams, working in our groups, modifying our questions. And the main thing I'd like for you to remember is to try to remember that, uh, that each of the questions that you include in your guide for the roundtable performance test for this week include three things. Number one, make sure they're reflective in nature. So make sure you're asking what the person feels, what the person thinks. Make sure that each question is related to a specific behavior that's related to the uh, class that you're discussing. Number three, make sure that you're specifically mentioning an, an ICT, a specific technology platform, an app that you are inquiring about in your question. Each question should include those three things. All right, so we'll, um, we'll go ahead and stop there. Uh, I just wanted to provide a quick summary of what we did today. Unfortunately, our class was not recorded. Sometimes this happens. And when it does, I would like to at least have a, uh, a summary of kind of what we talked about today. We'll try again tomorrow. I'm not sure what happened. It looked like it was recording just fine, but it uh, turns out that no file was uh, generated. So uh, this is a summary of what we did today, November 25th, 2020. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via chat in Microsoft Teams.